adjust the settings here. Give me a second, I know you're just seeing my face here. Um, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm trying to adjust the settings here on my uh, thing. We might have to drop out. Let's see here. It's the first time I've tried to do it from a phone, so. Okay, that might be better. It says I have a poor connection. Can everybody see me? I have 53 people so far. Happy holidays, everybody. Uh, Maeve's right here. Can you see her? But anyways. <laughs> so we have some scrambled eggs. I wore my glasses because I thought uh, it might be entertaining to um, watch Maeve try to steal them, but... Scrambled eggs. Blueberries. Um spent pretty much I mean it's just been me and the birds today so I thought that it might be fun to just hang out on Christmas and for those of you who are maybe they have just downtime but for those of you who are home alone like I am we can all hang out so maybe it might not go over very well but we'll see you want blueberries already now Tupac has actually Tupac's had uh um, scrambled eggs before, but Maeve hasn't, so, you want some more? <laughs> no, it's not cannibalism. It's not cannibalism any more than, uh, us eating cows is. Hold on. We got some egg. You see Tupac in the back there. Hold on. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> you like that? That was a big chunk. Chunky bird. Scrambled eggs are good, you're right. Um, I'm sure they would eat Crunchberry, but we're not gonna give them that. <laughs> Maeve, come here. Come get some eggs. This is your Christmas present. Um, I was gonna get Tupac some, some carpet, but I can't seem to find any that's gonna fit in my living room, so. You want some? No? You don't like it? Tupac likes it, he's coming all the way over here. Maeve just dropped it on the floor, so. Ah! Well, we might not live stream for that long, but um, I just thought it would be fun. And we'll see what happens. So. Hold on. Let's try Maeve again. You want this? Well, Tupac's like coming over here. He really wants it. <laughs> Uh, Maeve is not full grown yet, no. Maeve doesn't want the egg, apparently. Yes, they've tried strawberries. I thought about making bacon, but, um, I think that's gonna be a little too salty for them. Maeve's, like, flying all over the place. Merry Christmas, everybody. No, I don't have a Christmas tree, because it's just me <laughs> this year. And I didn't want to deal with the birds getting into it constantly, so... And I don't really have a place to put it. You 
You want more Tupac? Let's see if he likes the, um, if he chooses the egg or the blueberry, if I put both in my hand. Got both in my hand here. I don't know if we can get the camera on it. I hope everybody can hear me okay. I didn't get to test the audio because I'm using my phone to stream from this time. But let's see what he chooses. Blueberry? <laughs> oh, dropped it. There you go. Okay, the audio's fine, good. Um, I am working on... Hold on, let me... Pick up all the little egg pieces here. I've been working on, uh, man, I wish I could do the wide angle lens on this thing. Um, improving the audio quality. I got a bunch of new audio equipment coming in, so. Look, can you see yourself, Maeve? She can see herself on the screen there. You want to say hi to everybody? Say hi. Everybody's here to see you on Christmas, Maeve. Isn't that crazy? I think ducks are cool. I think all birds are pretty cool. Uh, Tupac would probably like hard-boiled egg. I, don't, I haven't given him any yet. But, um... Maybe we can, uh... Actually have a tripod on the camera this time. <laughs> Let's see here. There, you can see uh, all the egg all over the couch here. Let's give them some blueberries. Henry K has super chatted five dollars. Thank you, Henry. He says Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Henry. To all your family and birds if you have them or any pets you might have if you're not a bird person. <laughs> Some egg. Want some egg, buddy? There you go. Um, I do not have a Discord server, no. Not yet. Well, actually, I kind of started one a little bit. But, um, I'm not sure if I want to go that way or not. I did start a Toucan TV Discord, but I'm not, I haven't made it public or anything yet. Uh, I think it might be a good thing so you guys can keep up to date with the, with the, uh, birds and everything. Especially, let me sit up here, especially health-related stuff, you know? Um, I, I got Tupac a, he's got a new vet. He's got a new vet in Texas now that he's going to on the 21st, maybe? So, but also there's Reddit, so I don't know what, maybe we should talk about that right now. Do you guys, would you guys prefer Reddit or a Discord? Like a subreddit or a Discord? Tell me what you think. Maybe getting into trouble right now. Yeah, toucans are very difficult to look after. <laughs> I do not recommend them as pets. I try to stress that in every video that I have, but... <laughs> Want some more? Maeve, get out of there. You know, Maeve, let me show this to you guys. Oh, she's gone now. Never mind. <laughs> Maeve has been getting into this little shelf lately that's like in the corner over there. You guys have seen it before. She keeps flying on the top of the shelf, like in the middle, like where the shelves are and knocking everything off of it, like, constantly. Everyone likes Discord? Uh, see, I got the chat on my t TV. Jeremy Shearer says, Merry Christmas to, oh, let me see here. I gotta go back on my phone and see what he said. Jeremy Shearer says, Merry Christmas to you and the birds. Thank you, Jeremy. He donated 
$2.99 and I really can't appreciate it enough, especially since we're trying to get this Kill Bill 2 can that needs a needs a rescue. So oh, may have already may have already took a dump on my couch. Give me a sec. Let me clean it up. <laughs> Okay. Um, Der Nick says, how old is Tupac and his friend? Tupac is 16 years old and he will be 17 in June of next year. Somewhere around there. Can't recall. It was something like that. Maeve, you're getting kind of close to Tupac there, buddy. Um, Maeve is about eight, eight months old, so she's still a baby. She doesn't have all her colors yet. Maeve, get off of there. Look at her. This is the other shelf she keeps getting on. You see her up there? She keeps knocking everything down up there. Well, I put the, I put the silver play button up there. I think she likes to look at it. But... Anyways... When will Maeve's beak turn red in terms of age? It is, mo yeah, it is mostly black, right? I really don't know. I wish I could answer that question. This is my first Red Bill Toucan that I've ever seen, like, as a baby. So there's not a whole lot of information on Red Bill Toucans. Sorry, she keeps jumping up there. I think you guys can see her, actually. Yeah, you can in the corner. There's not a lot of information on Maeve's species, as far as uh, maturity goes. There's a lot more on tokos, because there's more of them in captivity, and there's... I think there's only, like... Yeah, I'm getting super chats left and right. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> um, I think there's only, like, maybe 10 or so, 10, 15 red-billed toucans in captivity, in the United States, at least, so... Man, everyone's... Okay, let me start reading these before they go off the screen here. I gotta pull the little chat thing out. Um, Charlie the Supersaurus. Don't, wow, donated $20. Thank you, Charlie. That's awesome. Um, he says, Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you for everything, Brock. Wishing you and the birds all the best for 2020. Thank you so much, Charlie. That means a lot. Merry Christmas to you too, of course. Um, Miss Nebulosity donated $5 through Super Chat. She said, If you need help with Discord, I have years of experience. I might take you up on that, actually. If you send me a message on Instagram or something. Um, I do. If we do Instagram, we, we'll definitely need some moderators and stuff. So, um, Henry K says... For another toucan, LMAO. He donated two dollars. Thank you, Henry. Yes, it's another toucan, um, but she's she needs she's a she would pretty much be a rescue. Not probably not on Tupac's level of rescue, where like Tupac desperately needed health care and stuff like that. But she needs a new home, and um, the owner hasn't been able to find one. It's a Kill Bill toucan, and it'd probably be pretty good for Maeve to have a little friend to terrorize instead of Tupac and I, so. <laughs> um, the Baby's Booty <laughs> donated $10 through Super Chat. Uh, the Baby's Booty says, do you have a fan mail address? Thanks. Uh, I do not yet. I'm working on doing a P.O. box, but you guys will be the first to know as soon as I do. Um, some people have said to do an Amazon thing. Uh, what's it called? Sorry, you guys probably can't see on my face right now. I'm trying to move the camera back a little bit. What am I, what am I trying to say? Smile. Amazon Smile. Someone said do an Amazon Smile and you can do like a wish list or something like that. And I might, I might end up doing that. Um, so we can put stuff for the birds on Wish and if you guys want to get them toys or whatever. The problem is with toucans is I don't want to ask that much of everybody because, like, toucan stuff is super expensive. It's not like, oh, I just need this toy. It's more like, I need this giant-ass cage that's, like, a thousand dollars. And that's a lot. That's way too much to ask for one person. So, um, I don't know. But we'll figure something out. 
Um, I think that's all. I think we're caught up here. Um, I gotta get caught up on chat here. I have thought of a possible name for the new bird. I don't want to reveal it yet, but it's another it's another pun pun name. Um, hold on, let me. You guys will have to forgive me because this is the first time I've done a live stream through my phone in my living room. So, okay. Oh, we scooted. I scooted the. Uh, we got egg all over the couch still. Oh no, that's a glare on the lens there. Hold on. Let me make sure the lens is clean. Okay. Um. But yeah, I have thought of a name for the new bird. But I don't want to reveal it quite yet. Because I don't know for sure if we're going to be able to get her or not. It really just depends on how much support we get. So, we have enough to cover... Uh, the travel expenses and like contingencies and stuff like that, but it, it's tough to say. I need like another two grand in order to get the keel bill, so we'll see. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, Maeve might kill this phone. If we get a new bird, it might kill this phone. Um, is the new bird captive or wild bred? That is a good question. I have no idea. I suspect that. Uh, it might be wild caught and smuggled illegally, and there's not really anything you can do about that now because it's already in the country. It's not like you can just like ship it back to Costa Rica because cat birds that have been in captivity just cannot survive in the wild, um, especially with two cans. They're too they're too much of sissies. Maeve, what are you doing? The, the light's like reflecting off the bowl the blueberries are in on the ceiling and Maeve's like <laughs> Maeve does purr a lot more now Wait, I love Ripley too, Hayden <laughs> we miss her I'll be doing a video uh, about her pretty soon because it's almost uh, the one year anniversary of her passing she actually passed on January 1st of last year, so, but, um, oh crap, did I miss a chat here? Let me make sure. Hold on. I know this is probably not the most flattering angle right here, but. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, we're good. Um... Well, I mean, the wild toucans are not sissies. Uh, this comment says, oh wait, I missed it, hold on. Blue Ghost says too much of a sissy, but will eat stuff like bats. The wild toucans are not sissies. Now, can you imagine Tupac or Maeve trying to live in the wild when they won't even eat food that I don't cut up for them? <laughs> and Maeve, Maeve went through a phase where she wouldn't even drink water unless it was in like a glass, like a like a cup, it's like like I drink out of. So, you know, um, Tupac's been doing a little. He's been doing a little better, but you know, I I don't really know what's. I don't really know what's going to happen with Tupac. To be honest with you, I don't know if he's going to be able to get fully better or not. And I suspect I won't know until at least sometime next month when he goes to this new vet. So, I hope that he he should be as active as Maeve. A lot of people don't realize that even at Tupac's age, Tupac is uh, 16, he should be just about as active as Maeve and Ripley was. So, excuse me. Um... 88 Rome says, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas to you, too. Thank you so much for the $5. <laughs> it means a lot. Like, it, like I've spent all day alone with the birds today, so it really means a lot to have you guys talking to me and stuff. So, pick a Star Wars name? No. I'm done with Star Wars. <laughs> I'm over Star Wars. Like, I've said that probably about 20 times by now over the past 15 years, but... Uh... <laughs> 
Hayden says he is in fourth grade. That's awesome, man. I can't believe you're watching my stream. That's awesome. Um, what's wrong with her? Do you mean what's wrong with Maeve or what's wrong with the new potential new bird? Are the claw they can be really sharp. Are there claws of the toucan sharp? That's what the question was. I saw my Reddit post. Yes, thank you. I hope you upvoted. <laughs> Let me get Maeve here. Look at this little thing. No, love me. Love me, no. <laughs> what is happening? Well, we were we were feeding eggs to um, Tupac and Maeve. The Tupac likes eggs, but Maeve isn't Maeve isn't into it yet. Cool shirt. Yeah, this is part of our merch actually. So this is my favorite merch that we've done so far. Have you ever thought about doing some kind of school program thing about teaching about toucans? Actually, yes, I have. Um, it would be in like the Dallas area, though. It wouldn't be local to me. That's one of the one of the roadblocks I'm running into with a lot of this stuff is I live in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana, and um, nothing's going on here. So I really need to move to Texas or something to be able to do more stuff like that. Um, Cam Ruby says Tupac was looking around as if fearfully wondering what Maeve is up to. That's, I'm, that's basically what Tupac and Maeve's, I mean, mine and Tupac's life <laughs> consists of. Like, what is Maeve up to and what is she about to break? Um, but Cam donated $20. Guys, what are you... What are you thinking? That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Seriously. I really can't appreciate it enough. I hope you guys can hear me from this distance with this mic. I couldn't make the charity live stream. Did we make enough for the new bird? No, we did not. We need... We have enough for travel expenses, but we need about, like, two grand more for the actual bird. So, the travel expenses alone were, like, a thousand dollars. So... But, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm trying to dig into my own money to come up with a Tupac and egg there. Um, I'm trying to come up with ways to get money for the new bird. Um, even if we can't make it through you guys. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, did we get another chat here? Let's see here. Uh, ten dollars from Franzi Wizzy. They say Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Like, I can't believe everyone showed up on Christmas for this live stream, to be honest with you. How many people are here? Um, 154. Wow. That's crazy. You guys are, you guys are insane. Here, we'll give Tupac some more egg. Um... Let's see what else. How long do you have left to get the new bird? Uh, I'm supposed to be going next month, possibly. But, I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. Uh, Carrie says, I wish that the people would just give the new bird to you. They're selfish, blah, blah, blah. Let me see here.
All right, can you hear me? Can nothing? All right, can you hear me? All right, I think it's done because I can hear myself on the TV here. Let me try to plug this microphone back in, though. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay. Is it still working? Still good? Okay. Good deal. Let me just double check on the... Yep. Okay. We're good. Yeah. Maeve did do it. <laughs> Maeve did do it. She came up and started yanking at the uh, microphone. Uh, what was I last saying? Can someone remind me what I was saying last? Thanks a lot, Maeve. That's the most frustrating thing right there, to answer somebody's question. Um, okay, everyone says it sounds better, and, and we're good. Uh, I think we were talking about the other bird, and somebody was frustrated that they don't just give it to me. And I was saying that I think, or the person that, um, I hope the audio wasn't out for that long, but this person is relatively young, and... Um, you know, it's hard to expect somebody to want to give a bird that's worth thousands of dollars just away. So, it sucks, but you can't really do anything about it. Um, you want a blueberry, buddy? I'm missing, I missed a bunch of super chats during all that. Yeah, I mean, maybe they are, maybe they aren't greedy. I, 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 it's not really for me to say. Um, I'm just kind of focused on helping that bird so hold on a second I'm gonna try to angle the camera up a bit here because Maeve's taking a bath over there <laughs> give me a sec um, they're just it's how much will the bird cost me they're asking 2500 which is a lot cheaper than what they're actually worth so it's like more than half off basically so you picked up where you left off. Okay, good. Um, let me uh, get situated here again. Hold on. Okay. I'm trying to get all the egg off my couch now. Nope. Maybe it's not coming over here for some reason. I figured me having glasses on would lure her over, but... Maeve, come here. You want a blueberry? Tupac wants it. There you go. That they should be focused on the benefit of the bird too. I know, I know guys, it sucks, but you know, there's not anything. People are freaking out over the fact that it's $2,500. Do you guys know how much Ripley was? Ripley was uh, over $10,000. <laughs> so toucans are not cheap. They're not cheap birds at all, so... Do you know the condition of said bird? Uh, it's alive. Um, I'm not sure if it's flighty or, uh, you know... I think it's in good health. I'm not sure. Uh, I thought Tupac was in good health, too. And look how that ended up, so... Um, I'd rather spend 2500 on Maven Tupac. Yeah, that's easy to say, but then you start thinking about how that bird could live a life in a small cage by itself, and it sucks, so. But let me let me get caught up on the super chats here. Give me a sec. I know this low angle here is not flattering for me, but... Um, 
Jiffy Lee says, thank you for having a big heart. I hope you achieve all your dreams. Thank you so much, Jiffy. Jiffy donated $5. Um, it, means, it means the world to me, seriously, <laughs> for all you guys doing this. Um, ironically, I don't have a big heart because I've had five open heart surgeries and I have a lot of problems. So maybe, uh, you know, on a spiritual level, my heart's big, but not physically. <laughs> um, Andy Z says, I don't need a sewing machine. Merry Christmas. I, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but they uh, they donated five dollars through the super chat, and thank you so much, Andy. Um, what else we got here? Uh, Franzy Wizzy, did we? I can't remember if I read their chat or not, but they say Merry Christmas, and they donated ten dollars. Thank you so much, Franzy. You guys are just so generous. I can't even begin to thank you. Um, Cam Ruby said donated $19.99 and they say Tupac was looking around as if fearfully wondering what Nate was up to. I, I remember reading that one now. I don't know if you guys heard me or not. <laughs> Hopefully you did. Uh, I said yeah, Tupac. Tupac and I are always fearfully looking around for Maeve. Um, we have another super chat. Barlin1970 donated $10. And says, Merry, Merry Xmas. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Like, I can't believe how many Super Chats are coming in right now. Another one. What? What is wrong with you guys? You guys got, like, a train going here. Um, Mark Spector says, Merry Christmas. Here's a pun to make you laugh. If two can take, if two can take the heat, then stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars. Um... Maybe taking a bath. Maybe we should walk over there and go watch her. Hold on. Give me a sec. Ugh. Oh man, my hip. I feel like an old person. Oh, do you guys? I haven't talked about this yet. I might actually do a video about it. I found, you remember how Ripley used to always land on my TV? Well, Maeve started doing the same thing and I wasn't having it this time. So I've made this little device where it's just uh, plastic kitchen knives and they're just <laughs> taped to the back of the TV all ghetto like and uh, it keeps Maeve off the TV so there we go. If you guys have birds and they land on your TV all the time give it a try. Maeve's taking a bath over here. Let's, maybe, let me see if I can flip the camera around. Can I? I don't think I can. You're gonna get water everywhere, Maeve. They're watching you. I know we're getting a bunch of super chats. I'll have to check them when we sit back down here in a second. We're gonna see what Maeve's up to a little bit. See, Maeve doesn't. Maeve doesn't really uh, do like Tupac and just chill with me. She's all over the place all the time. So there we go. They're gonna watch you take a bath. That's kind of creepy, huh? Oh, got water all over my glasses. This is the wrong thing to wear today. I'm trying to speak really loud so I know you guys can hear me. Because I'm a little bit away from the camera now. Okay, glasses are back. Maeve's gonna get water all over the house now. And we're gonna have to Um, I have to get a towel. <laughs> Man, I lose my train of thought way too often. I don't know why. What do you think, Maeve? I need, like, cameras all over the house so that I can cut between A, B, C cameras, like, when we live stream. You having fun? See, she's getting some red in her beak there. You can see it. It's coming in slowly. It'll probably take a little while, but... What? Don't bite the mic again. Don't start that. <laughs> Are we, like, all up in your business now, Maeve? You gonna try again? 
you gonna jump in? She's like, what are you guys doing? We get one more jump in here and then we'll go back to the couch. What? Don't bite the camera. All right, okay, she's flying away now. <laughs> she's like, you're all up in my business, what are you doing? So how would you like? How would you like it if I came to your? Well, Kara came and watched you while you took a bath. Now, ironically, she does actually do that. So let me uh, wipe the and make sure there's not any water on the lens there. Okay, let's get uh, caught up here on the chat. Uh, they looked it up. Keel Bill Toucans cost around 3800 for captive bread. So, you know what? You know what's crazy about this, this Keel Bill Toucan? Is they were asking $4,500 for it. And, uh, they said that's what they paid. And, uh, I don't know what they were. That, that's. I, the, here's the thing about the Keel Bill Toucans. They've, they used to be like $8,000, like, five years ago. But there has been an influx in smuggled birds, specifically Kill Bill toucans from Costa Rica, that has caused the price to drop, and more and more people are buying them. And I see probably three or four of them every year go from, bounce from owner to owner. They, they, they start a social media for them and everything. And, uh, and then they end up selling them two months later, along with the social media to a new owner. And one, I think one or two birds have actually already been through about three owners, and that was only in the span of like two or three years. So, so that's one of the reasons that, uh, I feel so, my heart just aches for them, because they bounce around like that, and they never have a, a full home, and they never have qualified homes, and it just, it sucks. And uh, nobody's saying anything about it because nobody really does anything with toucans. So that's one of the reasons I feel so compelled to get this bird because uh, I think it would just be a good way to. Sort I'm looking for. She would be a good ambassador for those who are not really aware of what happens to her species. Like they get smuggled into the country and then they go to these really crappy homes and get bounced around. And a lot of them probably end up dying, so, you know, I just want to spread awareness about that so people quit buying them, so. But anyways, let's get caught up on Super Chat here. Give me a second. Um, you guys can look at my double chin here, probably. Maybe it's back to taking a bath again. Man, why won't the freaking tray slide out here? There it is. Um... Let's see. Andy Z donated two dollars and says, "Also, you've given me a love of toucans. Thank you, Andy. That means a lot, and that's what I really—that's all I want to do. You know, um, is just show people how awesome toucans are, and hopefully, just give the a, a, some sort of outlet where people can be educated about them, and hopefully, less go into situations where they're." and bad care or, you know, things like that. So, they should stay in the wild. Um, I know I have them in my house, but ultimately I wish they could stay in the wild and that that would be good enough. But, you know, the, the great thing about birds in captivity is it inspires people to love animals. And when you love animals, you want to help the environment. And when you help the environment, you're helping these animals, the birds that are in the wild that have their homes burned or cut down, it directly affects them. So, you know, hopefully there's an outlet, or hopefully I'm able to provide an outlet on YouTube for people to uh, fall in love with them and uh, be inspired to help the wild ones. So, but let's move on to the next comment. Uh, Jester43 says, love your birds, good luck getting the third banana, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Jester. They donated twenty dollars through Super Chat. You guys are insane. <laughs> twenty dollars is way too much. Um, Miss Nebulosity, 
I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. They don donate, or she donated five dollars through Super Chat. It says donation train, donation train, donation train. I guess there is a donation train going right now, isn't there? Um, Arn Belhas. I hope I'm saying that right. They say to the most genuine person on this site, Merry Christmas to you and the birds. I don't know if I give myself that much credit, you know, but um, I hope that I at least provide some level of entertainment and inspiration to you guys. And if I have, then I've done my job. So, what is NOK? They donated NOK50. Can someone tell me in the chat what NOK is? I don't know what currency that is. I usually just search it, but, you know. Um, Jason, uh, Jason Nash is a, uh, is a Patreon, or a patron. J Jason, donate $100. What the heck, dude? Come on, man. <laughs> You're crazy, man. Uh, he's... <laughs> He says, I'm just going to keep throwing money at you on here and Patreon because toucans are pretty damn neat. Hope this goes towards the new bird and helping out. Can we see Tupac and Maeve catch a blueberry? Merry Christmas. From Virginia. Hope you all make it up here someday. I've been to Virginia before, actually. Not with the birds, but I've been to most of the continental states. But Jason donated... A I wonder if... Are you the real Jason Nash? I know everybody says that. Maybe you just have the same name or something. I don't think you are, but everyone's like... OMG, Jason Nash donates. Um, but Jason, $100. Good lord, man. I don't know if I'm deserving of that sort of thing, to be honest with you, but hopefully the birds are. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, it will definitely go towards the new bird. Uh, I think we're caught up now. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're good now. Um... I know this. Oh, we just got another one. Uh, MW, $5 from MW. They say, season's greetings. Hope your flock has a healthy and happy new year. Yeah, I thought maybe it was, NOK was Korean too. Thank you so much, MW. $5 is, it's, I, I can't believe you guys think that I'm worth even five cents, let alone $100, $5, all this crazy stuff. So thank you so much. Um... Somebody says they thought NOK was Korean. And I was kind of thinking the same thing, but I'm not sure. Um, base Jason. Yes, Jason is very based. Thank you very much. This, yeah, it is awesome. I can't believe you guys are doing this. I really can't. And we only have, like, how many people are in this stream, even? I can't see because the chat's all over the screen. Hold on. 163, like, that's not that many people, really. I mean, comparatively speaking, like, some people have, like, thousands and thousands of people watching their stream and don't have crazy donations like this. So, I can't believe you guys. Like, you guys are so awesome. And okay, is Norwegian currency? That's another possibility. It's Norwegian. Okay, cool. We're getting more super chats in. Let's, let's take a look at them again. And I just need to leave the freaking screen up at this point. Um... <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> Carolyn Hembry donated $5 through the chat, and she says, Happy Christmas to you and the birds. Thank you so much, Carolyn. Merry Christmas to you as well. Um, to you and your family, to your birds, whatever you have. <laughs> your dogs, cats, doesn't matter. I hope you guys have a great one. Uh, MCPM, $50. Again, what is wrong with you people? Fifty dollars? Thank you so much. Like, I, you guys are awesome. Like, I can't. There's no other word for it but awesome. That's just. That's awesome. <laughs> that's all I can say. Uh, hopefully, this is. I need to like find a better way to read chats here while I'm uh, while we're doing streams like this. But um, MCPM says happy holidays to you, Tupac and Maeve. We love being able to help you. Thank you so much. I, I really can't thank you enough. You guys are amazing. And this donation train is a Christmas miracle. I'll say that. Um, Happy Camper donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Said, let's make this happen. You know what we really need to do? And what I should have done is done a little... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, like a progress thing. I forget what it's called. Uh, OBS has some sort of word for it. But it's like a progress bar where... 
every time someone donates, it goes towards the total amount. So we can put like the goal is two thousand dollars, and then every time you guys donate, that bar fills up. That's what we really need to do. Next time I'll get that set up. Um, Miss Nebulosity again donates five dollars through Super Chat. And said this is from my sparrow named Chicken Nugget. You have a sparrow? That's awesome. I love sparrows. They're really cute. But thank you so much. Tell your sparrow. Chicken nugget, I said thank you so much. <laughs> um, I think, oh, we're, no, we're getting more here. Uh, I'm, I'm getting lost here. Sorry, guys. There's so much little chats on the screen here that I, like, I keep having to bounce around and I can't, like, find my new place. Um... Miss Nebulosity again. <laughs> Five dollars, she says. Oh, oh, my starling penguin wants to donate to donate too. Man, your birds are loaded. I wish my birds made me money. <laughs> I guess they kind of do because YouTube. They definitely do. I take that back. <laughs> but she donated five dollars again. Thank you so much, Rory Carrick. I know Rory actually. <laughs> says, Merry Christmas to you and the birds. Looking forward to meeting all your birds someday. <laughs> oh, next time I am in Texas, we will bring them over. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Miss Nebulosity again. Oh, yeah. Rory donated $50, by the way. So you guys are all crazy. At least I actually know this person. <laughs> but thank you so much. Uh, Miss Nebulosity again. Five dollars. You do the donation bar through Streamlabs. Yeah, I'm using Streamlabs right now, actually. I wonder if I can add it real quick. Can we do that? I know, like, you guys can only see my mouth right now. This is really embarrassing. Hold on. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Because this is getting, like, awkward here. I got some books. Let's lift it up a little bit. Maybe this will work. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Wait, hold on. That might be a little better. Um, for Gaming, so I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Donated $2, said Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. You guys, like, you guys are crazy. I know I've said this a million times right now, but this chat is awesome. Um, here, this is a little bit higher now. It should be a little bit better. Wait, let me get a couple more. I need a taller, uh, I should have got a taller tripod. I actually have a few tripods I should have used. Um, let's see if we can get this, let's see if we can get the, um, the donation bar thing. Yeah, we're trying to keep track right now. Hold on. Um, I've disconnected it from the tripod. Hold on. Oh, look, you can flip the camera around. <laughs> uh... Let's see if I can add a thing real quick. Add widget. Donation goal. Okay, but I can't edit it on the app here. I think I need to edit it on their website or on my desktop. So I don't think it's gonna work this time around. But maybe we can add everything up. I'll add everything up um, after the stream and uh, update. And we'll do a live stream maybe next week again or something. And then we'll have it updated for everybody. Unless we make the goal today, I don't know. It might be a Christmas miracle here. Everyone enjoy my double chin while I put this back on. Okay. Um, here we go. Okay, let's check the super chats again. Crazy people. I need to, you know what, it would probably be worth it for me to just go get my big tripod real quick, so, so we can have a better, more flattering angle here. Everyone watch Tupac. Watch Tupac while I go get this tripod. I will be right back.
Okay, it's not under the. Hang on, I get thought. Hold on. tripod. Hold on guys. I hope you can hear me. Got to do a little rearranging. And then I need the mounting plate. I had to get out of my camera bag. Hold on. I found it though. I have a Manfrotto Pixie that I'm using right now, but we need something a little taller for the live stream. So hold on. Hopefully I don't drop the freaking camera. You guys look at my ceiling fan for a second. now. Okay. I'm move these books back. Hold on. Sorry that was crazy for a second. Hopefully we didn't lose anybody. Let's see here. That should be a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. There we go. How about that? a little more flattering. I know I look like crap today, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> this was like a last minute. Hmm, we should do a live stream. Um, okay, we have more li our, uh, super chats here. Cam Ruby donated $20 again. Come on, guys. You guys are crazy. Um, yes, let's have a toucanathon. We need one of those. Can you guys imagine if I had three freaking toucans here in this house? That would be crazy. Um, Jason Nash says, $50 again. Jason, jeez, okay. Um, LOL, I'm the same person on Patreon. I don't know how to prove it. But yes, we are all crazy, regular bunch of bird brains. I, you don't have to prove it. I know it's you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jason. Wow, okay, we just had those two. We're good. Wow, you guys are awesome. I really can't even... Uh, do I accept PayPal donations? Uh, I can. Uh, there, there should be a link in the description for PayPal if you guys want to do a private donation. Um, well, we got another chat here. What else? Daniel F. 4000 donated DKK100. Okay, that sounds like a lot of money. I don't know what DKK is. <laughs> I need like a, a, a like a little cheat sheet for currencies here, but they said um, 
Hey, Merry Christmas to you and the birds. Hope I didn't catch the stream too late, even though Christmas got got me broke. Here's a little bonus on top of my Toucan sponsorship. Oh, you are the person that does the, spon the Toucan sponsorship. Thank you so much. I can't, I really cannot thank you enough. Yeah. Um, can someone tell me how much DKK is to U.S. dollars? Because I don't want to... I want to be able to um, thank this person properly. But thank you so much, Daniel. Seriously. Like that. Regardless of how much it is, it doesn't matter. I mean, it matters to an extent, obviously. But uh, the fact that you guys are willing to take your own money and give it to me, a guy that just loves birds, is phenomenal. And I can't thank you enough. It means, it means the world to me. It really does. Um, well, let's go back to the chat here. <laughs> Stop beating yourself up. Yeah. Oh, it's like $20. Okay. <laughs> See, that's why I need a little ta table of contents here. But either way, $20 is a lot of money. Like, to just give a stranger on the internet? That's crazy. 14 bucks? That's still crazy, guys. Well, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Google takes 30% of the Super Chats? Holy crap. Um, I think, here, let me, let me go look real quick. Give me a sec. and check the description real quick so yes uh, if you want to donate through PayPal if you go to the description and look it'll have a PayPal link it'll be paypal.me slash rampasted and that's our PayPal uh, donation link so and then we have GoFundMe and stuff of course so that's all in the description yeah we still have GoFundMe it's still the same, still the same link as from Ripley because we're just we're just reusing Ripley's whole thing um, from last year to continue to care for the birds. So yeah, seventy percent is still money. And Google sucks is greedy. Yeah, but Google also gives us a platform to do this. So you know, it sucks. But at the same time, at least we have a platform here that everyone can easily access, so. Uh, Kristen C. says, not much right now, but hope it helps. God bless. Kristen C. donated $2. Thank you so much, Kristen. It's more than you think, trust me. Um, Angela Gunn donated $20. Again, crazy people. Um, she's, sorry, Angela says, <laughs> I started reading it in my head like a moron instead of reading it out loud. Angela says, happy all the days, Brock and birds. Thank you, Angela. Yeah, happy holidays to people who don't celebrate Christmas as well. Ripley is the best, just like all your wonderful toucans. Ripley was the best, I love Ripley. I think about, there's not a day that goes by I do not think about Ripley. She means, she still means the world to me, so. And she's done so much through the channel just to inspire you guys to love toucans too. So hopefully Maeve and Tupac are kind of continuing her legacy. You want some egg, buddy? We got off track here. We were doing an egg tasting thing. Oh, somebody wanted me to do uh, catch. We'll do catch with the with Tupac real quick. Give me a second. Let's do blueberries. Um, <clears throat> here. Good job, buddy. Can you guys see that? All right. Here's some egg. 
They love playing catch. It's a natural thing they do. It's not like Todd or anything. Maeve does it too. Good boy. You're a good boy. You want to come down here, Maeve? Let's see if we can get Maeve to fly to us. You want to come get a blueberry? Maeve? You want to come get some? Come down here and say hi to everybody. Why are you up there? You know what I need to do is turn off the light in the kitchen so that she comes in here. Give me a second. come in here now. Okay. And she's probably a little bit concerned because we have this giant tripod in the living room now and uh, it's not something she's used to seeing. So, I mean, I even wore my glasses because I thought maybe she would uh, um, come try to take it off, but... Anyways, um, let's catch up here. Maeve hates us. She doesn't hate you. Uh, she almost came down. I think Tupac is in her spot. Why don't you go back to your spot, buddy? Come here. What? Come here. Let's put Tupac back in his normal spot. And then maybe come down. Okay. There, you guys can kind of see Maeve up there on the shelf there. It's like the toucan version of Elf on a shelf. Okay. Oh man, I can't even like take five seconds to get a drink because you guys won't stop chatting, or super chatting. Where's the... Come on, Dropbox, let's go. Oops. There it is. Um, Henry K donated two dollars through the super chat. He says, "Did I start this?" And you might have, Henry. I'm not sure. I have to go back and look. Uh, yeah, that's the latest one. Okay, we only had one. I thought we had more. Um, that little motion that Tupac was doing—that's not necessarily biting. That like he's not trying to clamp down. It's just like, hey, what are you doing? Um, Maeve is lurking. Yes, she is. Okay. All right. I'm going to actually take a drink now that we've calmed down a little bit. I might lower this tripod a bit, actually. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit better. There, now you can see everybody. I wish I had money to prevent you from hydrating. <laughs> well, let's be honest. This isn't very hydrating, but, you know. Uh, Carrie C says, I almost set the house on fire, made fresh garlic bread for my mister, and had it too close to the broiler. I'm a disaster. Carrie, don't burn your house down. That's not good. Especially on Christmas. I'm waiting for the day Tupac starts talking to us. You know what? If Tupac started talking, I'd have to go get the holy water because toucans don't talk. <laughs> we might have to perform an exorcism on him. Is it snowing in the USA yet? Yeah, probably somewhere, but definitely not in Louisiana. It was like 65 today. Um, Stardust Dragon says I miss Ripley so much. Me too, trust me. I, I think about her every day, like I said. I wish she was here to be friends with Maeve. 
I think Maven and Ripley would have got along well. <laughs> Carrie C is going to die just for the stream. Yeah, don't burn your house down for the sake of watching my stream, okay? <laughs> Um, Elise Ver, Verhugen? I hope I said that right. This isn't a super chat, but they said hi from another Louisianian. I'll try to read some of the normal chats as well. Um, hi from Louisiana, another Louisianian. Merry Christmas. Question, do bigger beaks for males make them more attractive to females or mean more testosterone slash aggression? Um, no. Uh, males typically do have bigger beaks, but it's not always the case. Like, for instance, Ripley was DNA sexed to be a female, but her beak was quite large for a female. So, but you'll notice that between Ripley and Tupac, for instance, see how Tupac's beak is a little thinner, like on the end? I'm trying to see if he'll... See how it gets kind of thinner at the end? I think typically maybe that's a better way. He wants me to scratch his beak now. Typically that's a better way to tell if it's male or female. Like the males have a longer, thinner beak and then the females are kind of stocky and a little more thick. But uh, Bill doesn't have anything to do with sexual selection or anything in the wild with toucans. It's purely, as a, it's purely, purely used as a tool uh, for heat regulation, for feeding, and for defense. Uh, they do fence with each other with their beaks, like you've seen Maeve and Tupac kind of do that a little bit. No. Maeve just like immediately leaves Tupac because he's bigger than her, but it doesn't, I mean, a bigger beak could, inti could intimidate prey or predators away more than a smaller one for sure, but as far as breeding goes, it doesn't really make a difference, as far as I know, at least. Um, let's see. What else we got here? Where did I originally get Ripley? Uh, Ripley came from a breeder in Florida, just like Maeve did. Not the same breeder. They're different breeders, but uh, she, she came from Florida as well. Or was it Georgia? Oh no, no, Ripley didn't come from Florida, that's right. The guy that I talked to had one of his birds loaned through a, be a breeding program. Um, actually, it's kind of a weird story how I got Ripley. So I was, I was friends with this guy that was a toucan breeder since I was like 16, probably, somewhere around there. Um, he was the first person to really answer all my questions when I was a weirdo 16 year old and bless him for actually answering my questions and putting up with me at that age but uh, when I was successful enough and had enough money to actually afford a toco toucan I uh, hit him up I texted him and he had retired from from breeding toucans and became an EMT or something along that line and told me where he sold his birds and that the guy that he sold the birds to was legit and so I called that guy and then he had one of the birds that th that guy sold to him on loan to a zoo in Massachusetts I think uh, for a breeding program and that's that happens a lot of times with toucans because there's not that many proven breeders in captivity a lot of times they'll loan toucans out to different places to, and then they share the profits or whatever to get new birds. So there's not that many in captivity and that's, a lot of times that's the only way you can actually do it. So, but she came from that zoo. I forget what the zoo's named. I don't, I don't think it was a, I think it was a uh, private zoo. It wasn't anything or like a conservation center or something like that. It wasn't like uh, a public zoo like you would normally go to. But that's where Ripley came from. So, <clears throat> and then uh, what else? I was going to say something else. I'm trying to remember now. Uh, oh, if it comes to me later, I'll. If you thought about getting other birds before you got your first toucan, I had other birds before I had my first toucan. 
Um, actually, I, I wanted a toucan since I was a little kid, but they were, I remember calling, uh, <laughs> um, Emerald Forest Bird Gardens when I was a kid. I was probably about nine, ten years old. And uh, the guy, the owner, Jerry Jennings, actually answered. <laughs> and he probably doesn't know this. I know he knows of me now, and they know the channel and stuff. And I'm friends with a lot of the people, or some of the people, at Emerald Forest Bird Gardens now. But back then, uh, you know, I was a little hatchling toucan lover. So I called him up, and I was like, hey, probably my prepubescent voice, hey, how much is a, a toucan? Oh, it's $15,000. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> like, I couldn't even fathom that amount of money back then. But, um... Yeah, but I had... I had... What did I want? I wanted a sun conure when I was, when I was a kid, before I got into toucans. So, um... But I ended up getting budgerigars. I had, like, I had three budgies when I was a kid, and I had them for most of my childhood, and they lived probably about 13 years or so, and then they passed away, and there was a period where I just was into snakes for a long time, and didn't have any birds, and then I really wanted birds again, but they were just so expensive, and snakes were more economical to take care of and purchase up front, but then when I started getting a job and stuff like that, that's when I got back into toucans, and uh, I upgraded basically from now I did work at pet stores and at zoos and stuff for a while when I was when I was younger but you know uh, so I had experience with bigger birds that way and then actually okay funny story how I got into birds when I was in third grade or maybe no it was second grade because I didn't have the teacher at the time but I went to this I went to Roosevelt Elementary School and Norman, Oklahoma. And if I can ever find this woman, I would thank her so much and give her a big hug because this teacher, my third grade teacher, Mrs. Bones, and sometime in the 90s, had a classroom and she had three parrots. And uh, I remember their names. One was Osage. Uh, one was... Okay, I remember Osage. I don't know if I remember the other ones now that I'm thinking about it. But uh, she had three. She had a Sengal parrot. She had an African gray. Um, what else did she have? She had uh, Eclectus parrots. Two Eclectus parrots. She was hand feeding a male and a female. At like towards the end of the year, my end of my third grade year. But when I was in second grade, I went into her classroom for. And I know there's like a ton of super chats right now, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll get caught up on them in a second. But when I was in second grade, I went into her classroom to write a paper, and one of the birds flew off the top of the cage and landed. And the t she wasn't in the room at the time, but it flew off the top of the cage and landed, like, right next to me, next to the computer. And you know, everyone was, like, kind of looking around like they didn't know what to do. And I got up, and I put my hand down, and it stepped up, and I put it back on top of its cage. And I was like, from that moment on, I was like, dude, birds are badass. Like, this, this thing, like, flew over to me and, like, stepped up on my hand and like wanted to hang out like that's freaking awesome so I got my first bird when I was in third grade and then had budgies for a while and worked at pet stores and zoos and stuff that's how I saved up for my first toucan was through working that way and uh you know the rest is history so I went from budgies to toucans but I had some experience in between but you know I don't I don't believe in starter birds I think you just need to have a strong sense of commitment to take care of them and if you have that strong sense of commitment you're going to do just fine so but very very few people actually do that's the problem but let's check out the super chats here give me a second um See, did we, how much do we miss? Miss Nebulosity donated $5 again. Thank you so much. Um, she says, I'm building a huge enclosure inside my house for my button quails. They're so excited they wanted to donate too. <laughs> well, th tell your quails that I said thank you very much. 
and I can't believe the generosity of these birds in your household. <laughs> Uh, let's read through some other chats here. Advice on getting birds, get a small one because they aren't as loud and can't bite your finger off. Um, that's probably true, you know, especially if you live in an apartment or something like that, you're going to want a smaller bird. But, um, I don't know if there's, what I was trying to say is I don't know if there's a way to really work your way up into like a macaw or a toucan or something more complicated to take care of. You probably, you just need that sense of commitment really. And you need to do your research beforehand for a long ass time, a long time, so. The Maeve is up. Well, she's up on top of the, like, very top of the shelf. I don't know what she's doing all the way up there. Um. Trying to see if there's any other chats. here if there's any questions or anything else um have I heard of the Pokemon named Toucan and if so how well do you think you translated the biology of the Toucan into that Pokemon <laughs> are you asking me this question because my name's Brock because I find that offensive no I'm just kidding um I've heard of that Toucan I mean, Toucan I've heard of that Pokemon of course um, I had a picture, I took a picture of Maeve where she looked like she had the squinty eyes just like Toucan and I posted it on Instagram at some point. Um, how well do I think they translated the biology of the Toucan? I mean, I don't know any Toucans that can shoot like laser beams out of their beaks, but you know, I mean, it's at least somewhat based on reality because Toucans use their bills to uh, regulate their heat and you know, things like that. So it makes some sense that they came up with a power like that, but interesting question. Oh, crap, what did I do? Oh, there we go. Okay. We're good. We're good. Um, I should cuddle Tupac. Uh, we can do that. I'll give, we'll give Tupac a little, some cuddles here. I'm making sure there's no questions here. Okay, I think we're good. I can't, well, yeah, I can't get any other birds now. Uh, besides toucans. And even like Aris Aries would be pushing it, because Toucans are predatory, and they could possibly, you know, F one of those things up, so, yeah. Not worth the risk, in my opinion, so. No Conyers around here, unless they want to become lunch, so. Let me, um, let me see if Tupac will cuddle. Come here, buddy. It's okay. Come here, buddy. So Tupac's a little bit different because he likes to... He wants to be, like, kind of held when you pet him like this. He doesn't always like to be pet when he's perching. But if you kind of hold him like this, he feels more secure. I think because his feet are wobbly. Like, you saw when I tried to pick him up that he was kind of, like, a little scared for a second because I knocked him off balance, but, um, anyways, let's see, he's enjoying it now. He has a lot of pin feathers right now that I need to, I really need to try to scratch off of him. Oh, I remember what I was going to say earlier when we were talking about Ripley. Um, Ripley is related to Rocco, Bird Tricks Toucan, so... Uh, Rocco is Ripley's half-brother, if I remember correctly, believe it or not. So that was one of the things, we've been trying to do a collaboration for a while, and that was one of the things we were going to talk about, so... One day, hopefully, we'll be able to... collab and talk about that a little bit. Man, you got a ton of pin feathers, buddy. How did you get so many?
He must be itchy. I wonder if I can uh, move the camera down a little bit. Hold on. Without freaking him out. There we go. You can see him a little better now. Yeah. So Tupac likes to be held like this more than pet like on a perch because it knocks them off balance and it makes them nervous so what are pin feathers they're developing feathers that haven't shed their sheath yet so when a feather comes in it has a, a little keratin sheath that protects it and covers it while it's growing in and those usually need to come off but because of Tupac's health condition he can't scratch it off with his foot so I have to pick it off for him. Maybe it's actually over here now. Let me try to move it with my foot. There she is. Are you jealous now, Maeve? Let's, um, let's see what the super chat's saying. You guys can look at Tupac here while I look at him. Um, the Dark Knight donated $5 through Super Chat. Why haven't you removed the metal ring from his leg yet? Also, is it still swollen? Uh, the infection in his hocks, his knees, on his legs is gone. Uh, but he has other issues aside from just the bumble that was on his ankles before. So we're trying to figure that out. We have a vet appointment coming, um... It's the 21st of next month, and uh, hopefully we can get an x-ray going and figure all that out. But my vet here just wasn't capable of figuring out what was wrong with him, and she's not familiar with toucans, so I'm trying a different approach now. I think that was all the super chats. Yeah. You can see, you can see some of his pin feathers here. See them? Does Maeve cuddle or is she too hyper? She does sometimes, but not as much as Tupac. She's really hyper. And that's typically how toucans are, so. And she's getting some blueberries now. I'm trying to get these pin feathers out for you, buddy. Sometimes you gotta get kind of aggressive with it. So he's like clacking his bill like that. It's like the dog uh, making their leg bounce or whatever when you pet him. I need to do a video on how to get the pin feathers out. Like a closer video. Hey buddy, any better? That's better. Here's, here's a big one right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'll try to pull it off and I'll show it to the camera if I can. My phone's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> like probably another 20 minutes or so so I'm gonna have to wrap it up in a bit but man he has got a lot of I wasn't even noticing these here got a lot of pin feathers buddy yeah if I just hold him like this he'll he'll let me pick them all off and um, sometimes he'll come up to me and kind of bend his head down if he wants like so you can see some of them here he knows that I help him get those off so I'm trying buddy hold on gotta get kind of aggressive at it sometimes <sighs> okay that's a little better getting distracted getting all these feathers off for him now. Look, Maeve, look, Maeve always takes his spot as soon as he's gone. Look, look at that. SMH. Better move. Yep, there you go. All right, buddy. 
Now I got a bunch of feather dander all over my shirt here. Okay. See, look at look at that. You see how he just pooped when I put him back there? He's a good boy. He knows where to poop. He did not poop on me. Maeve, Maeve doesn't know where to poop yet. She's too young. <laughs> she just craps everywhere. <laughs> um, Maeve's actually coming to say hi now. You want... Can I pet you? Yeah? She's letting me pet her now. Are you jealous that Tupac was getting attention? No? Okay. Um, how is my health going? Uh, I have a cardiologist appointment next month around the same time as uh, Tupac's vet appointment. So, I mean, I feel fine. We'll see what the cardiologist says, though. I know they want me to get an MRI, but I don't know if I can afford that right now. So, but I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Let's see what the Super Chats are saying. Um, Brianna Aaron donated $5, and she says from another Patreon, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thank you so much, Brianna, and thank you so much for your support on Patreon. I, guys, seriously, if you... I can't... I could not survive without Patreon sometimes. You guys are amazing. Um, you, like, you really help... help give me the ability to continue to do this because a lot of times views go down on YouTube especially around the holidays and uh, you know falling back on that little extra money from Patreon really helps so thank you guys so much those of you who are on Patreon um, Pablo Dugenheim sent $20 and he says like Miss Neb's quails my diamond dove flock wishes all of you well well, thank, tell your diamond dove flock I said thank you so much, and I can't believe how many birds on here are so generous. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot to answer the other part of this question from the Dark Knight. Why haven't you removed the metal ring from his leg yet? It's too risky right now, and um, it's not really affecting him because he's not active like Maeve is, so it's not worth, like, it. I, I forget what they said, but some, for some reason they used some kind of a different kind of metal on his band than what's usually used, and basically it needs to have like a Dremel or something cut it off. Uh, and I don't want to risk possibly hurting his leg doing that. So for now, oh, okay, maybe here now. So for now I'm leaving it on because, yeah, I mean that's what it comes down to is I don't want to risk potentially hurting him. So. Okay, let's see what, what else we have here. This is a good time for you guys to um, to send some questions in and stuff like that. Tupac is best boy. Tupac is best boy, isn't she? Or isn't he? Um, Maeve is everywhere. Yeah, she is. Yeah, I wish... Well, I, we'll get Tupac plushes one day. When we have more followers on here, like when we get to like a million subscribers or something, We'll do Tupac plushes, because then there'll be a higher demand for them. People will be more willing to uh, make them. So. Uh, I had an MRI recently. Not terrible, but not fun. I had to get contrast. Yeah, I've had one before, but um, for those of you who don't know, I have a lot of heart problems that I was born with, and I've had five open heart surgeries, so I have to go to the cardiologist fairly often, and... Um, get check a checkup, get echoes, get EKGs, and usually they just do stuff like that, but they want to do a uh, MRI, so. This time around, uh, let's see. What else we got? I'm getting stuff on PayPal that I'm not even noticing. Oh, they didn't leave a message, it doesn't look like. Okay. I wanted to check that real quick. Do you sometimes think Maeve is Ripley reincarnated? Sometimes. You know how... 
Like, I have to stop myself a lot from calling her Ripley. I didn't really have that problem with Tupac, but when she's acting up, I, I just want to be like, Ripley! Because Ripley would get into trouble, too, all the time. And I'd be, I'd be yelling Ripley all the time, like, every five seconds in the house. And when Maeve gets into stuff now, it's like my reflex and muscle memory to be like, Ripley, get down from there! What are you doing? But she, she has a lot of differences from Ripley as well. Like, she's a lot more friendly to new people than Ripley was. If new people come over and she doesn't recognize them, she'll come straight up to them and investigate and play with them. And she's very, she's a lot more brave than Ripley was, especially for being a smaller bird. <laughs> she likes to sit up there now, see her? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There we go. See her up there in the top left corner? Um, let's see what questions. Let's see what we got here. Um, what? What is my life story? Like, did I go to college? What did I study? Did I ever consider ornithology? Um, I went to college for a while and then I quit. I went, I didn't go for biology or anything. At the time I was doing computer stuff and I didn't really have a lot of passion for it. And I really, I did really want to do zoology or biology or something like that. But then on the other hand, like, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do with degrees like that. And, um, uh, nowadays at least. I mean, I'm sure you can do stuff with it, but it's just more difficult. So, around that time, um, I started doing somebody else's YouTube channel just on a whim. And, uh, I did that for about, oh, I don't know, five years before I started up this one and uh, didn't leave that YouTube channel on good terms, so I'll, I'll say that. But I quit, I quit that and started doing, I was just thinking, I was like, well, I'm really good at YouTube. I know how it works, I know how to edit videos, I know how to use computers, I know how to graphic design. What am I passionate about? And then this, I had Ripley at the time, like Ripley was just, you know, a normal pet, I guess you'd say. She, this was before the channel. So I had Ripley for quite a while before we started the channel. And then I was kind of like, well, what am I passionate about that I could do a YouTube channel on? And that was the answer. So, and then, you know, slowly through that is how we came to be now. And now I'm like, well, and there were times like when Ripley passed away where I was like, maybe I shouldn't do this anymore. And really because of you guys is why I continued because everyone sent me messages saying, um, you know, how I've helped them, or they were suicidal or depressed and stuff like that, and how my videos have helped them, and how much they mean to, uh, the videos mean to them, and, and that really is what motivated me to keep going, and to get Tupac, and continue getting Maeve, and then, really, uh, it's, it's weird because I was content just having Ripley before, and doing the videos like we were doing, and then, I don't know, something just woke up in me when Ripley passed away, so it was kind of a bittersweet thing where it was like, you know what, I'm really passionate, I don't want to quit, I don't want to quit doing things with toucans and doing videos and doing YouTube, I think this is what I'm really called to do. And uh, I doubled down on it basically, so, but I'll, I'll do, I want, I've been wanting to do a video that's more about that later, like a full video that goes over it in better details, but, um, but yeah, that's how we are, that's how we're here today, so. It just kind of escalated. I always wanted to do something with birds when I was a kid. I would tell people I wanted to be an ornithologist, but it just, I don't know. I, like, I already know a lot about birds to begin with, and I didn't really need a piece of paper to validate my intelligence, I guess is what you'd say. And I prefer to kind of do my own thing and, and rely on myself in that way, so. Anyways, I did for a long time want to work at the Dallas World Aquarium, like that was my goal, was to like be the bird curator or something there, but I really, I, I think what I do right now is like, 
really what I am called to do. So, and I couldn't do that without you guys, so thank you. Um, what else do we got here? Brock, will you have to move to open an aviary, if that can happen, which I hope it does. Texas or somewhere else. Um, I don't know if I'd be opening an aviary, per se, but I want to move to Texas and have a bunch of flights outside for toucans that are probably like more wild than Maver or Tupac. They're like retired breeders or just general maybe wild cop birds that need help and stuff like that. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's my goal. I hope I hope to be able to do that this year. Now we might not be able to build like flights and enclosures immediately off the bat, but moving and getting a new setup and especially like a better set I don't really like this house. It's a it's a crappy house and it's especially crappy for filming in. Like, the light just sucks, like, the windows are too small. All of the above, like, um, I really just need a better setup so I can accommodate the birds and myself better, so. Uh, what else? Ripley's legacy is to start a toucan rescue. Someone said something along that line. That's basically what I'm thinking. And actually, if I'm working on starting a nonprofit, and if I do, my thought is to call it the Ripley Foundation. And um, so it would be named after Ripley and stuff like that. And she could live on through it. And I think that's really cool. So let's see what else people are saying. I think we're getting a lot of good questions here. You're welcome to come to Texas. Thank you so much. But, you know, I need money first. <laughs> let's see. What else? Did we get super chats in here? Uh, weird question. Do you have to cut Tupac slash Maeve's toenails? Or do they fire, file down naturally from hopping around? If you do have to cut them, how? I know that Tupac doesn't move around as much. So, um, that's a good question. Uh, I found that for some reason Maeve's nails aren't as sharp as Ripley's were. Now, when I first got Maeve, I had to clip them, like, immediately, because they were extremely sharp. And Ripley would leave scratches all up and down my arm, like, constantly. And people thought I would, like, self-harm myself and stuff. And, like, I was like, no, I just have birds that land on my arms and scratch me up. Um, but for some reason, Maeve's nails, after I clipped them that first time, have not grown back sharp. They've stayed, like, round. So... I, I don't know, you know. I, I guess maybe I don't have a. I, yeah, I don't have an answer for that. Maybe they'll get a little sharper as she gets older. But I haven't found that I need to clip them more than that one time. Uh, when I did, I used like a little Dremel thing with a little sanding disc looking thing on it, and just kind of just knocked off the et, like the very tips of each toe quickly. And uh, that's what I did for Ripley as well. So I think that works the best. Um, and probably has less of a risk of causing bleeding. So, and then Tupac's nails have never been sharp at all. Um, but his nails are too long, and when I take him to the vet, they're going to have to get trimmed back quite a bit. Because they're like, they're overgrown uh, from when he was in his previous home. But they haven't affected his day-to-day -day life right now, so it hasn't been a big deal. Um, what else do we got here? Ooh, let's see what else we got. Um, Kristen says, I've been subbed since your Ripley days, and your content always makes me smile. I've been planning on ordering some of your merch. And I definitely plan to come next year, if not next month. Well, thank you so much for uh, being with me since the beginning and with Ripley. So, and then the merch. I've been really proud of the merch lately, guys. Like, I think these designs are on point. I don't know if you guys have seen this. We have it on, like, t-shirts and hoodies and stuff. And I know you guys like it, too, because there's been an influx in people buying it lately, which is awesome. Um, 
merch. But I've, I've really been loving the merch lately. A lot of the designs I've actually done myself. Uh, not this one. This one was actually done by a friend of mine. But uh, the other designs were all done by me. So let's see what else we got here. Except for the Tupac cartoon one, that one was actually a commission I did because I wanted it to look like like a caricature type of thing. Um, yeah, my phone battery is about to die, guys. So, like, it's red. <laughs> so let's get let's get the last few questions. If you guys wanna, if if you wanna super chat, now is the time because we're gonna end the stream here in a couple minutes. And but thank you guys so much for coming for Christmas. That's awesome. Like this has been great. I can't believe so many people showed up on Christmas of all days. So. But um, I just thought maybe some of you guys were spending it alone like I was, and maybe you want some company. I know I sure wanted some. So this was just a last-minute decision, and I'm really glad I did because you guys have been really encouraging. And, and again, thank you. Rip, or, see, I almost called her Ripley. See that? Maeve, what are you doing? She's knocking Ripley's photo off the top of the shelf there. Um, how much am I selling Tupac for? I'm not selling Tupac. Uh, I have merch with Tupac on it that I'm selling, but Tupac is not for sale. That's for that's for damn sure. <laughs> I am hoarding him to myself. Do I play an instrument? I play the guitar and a little bit of keyboard. Excuse me. I played the guitar since I was ooh I don't know, 15. So about 12 or 13 years now. Uh, electric and acoustic so I really love the guitar it's one of my other passions and it kind of helps keep me sane when I'm here with the birds all day so <laughs> Maeve likes to terrorize me when I when I play so um, everyone's saying Merry Christmas and I you guys too like thank you so much for coming uh, let's see Have Tupac's nostrils been clean? I remember he said it back, we got them that they're kind of clogged up. So I actually cleaned one of his nostrils out myself. Um, well, the vet did some of it, but I kind of finished it off. I, I spent like, I spent a couple of weeks like putting drops in his nose. This was back when I first got him, putting drops up in his nostril and to try to soften all that crap up. And then I, I used kind of a little, um, What's the, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of like a... I don't remember what I used. It was like a skinny piece of wood that was like used for medical type stuff, but I used it to kind of dig out of his... dig out of his uh, nostril, all that crap that was up in there. And eventually I got it all. And if you put your face up to like where his nostrils are, you can feel the breath coming in really good from that nostril. So he's good to go in that one nostril. Now the other one... We did x-rays on him, and it was clogged up, like, all the way through a sinus. And they tried to dig it out, but he was, like, um, it was it was hurting him, and he wasn't having it. And there was, they were like, well, the only way we could really dig all this crap out properly is to put him under. And that's a risk to put, put them under anesthesia. So, um... So that one nostril still clogged up, but the other one's completely clear now. And when I go to see this vet coming up soon, I'm going to... Oh, my sister's texting me. Actually, I was going to try to get Blake over for this stream, but if she does come over, I will make a new video with her. Because I know you guys want to see her meet Maeve. Um, but his other, his other nostril still clogged up, and when I go to this new vet, I'm going to try to see if there's a better way to get it unclogged without putting him putting him under. So I don't want to take that risk. He's he's already weak as is and it just like if it was a healthy bird like Maeve, I would feel better about doing it, but um I'm I'm going to see if there's a better way to do it. He's the vet that I had here locally is an avian vet, but she doesn't really I mean, I don't want to say she wasn't completely unhelpful because she did help a little bit, but she couldn't help with a lot of things because I mean, nobody else here in Louisiana has a toucan, so. <laughs> and there's not, the, the vet that I'm going to has only seen one before, and I don't think it was a big toucan. I think it was an aerosary. So, 
um, but they have a lot more experience with birds specifically. Like it's specifically like an avian vet. So we're gonna. I'll, I'll probably do a vlog um, going to that vet, and we'll see what happens. So um, how are the things with the other two can you've been considering adopting? We talked about that a little bit earlier, but we're still trying to raise money for it. And if everything goes according to plan, we should be able to get it next month. But it will have to be quarantined for probably at least two weeks when I do get it. Because if, if it is wild caught or it has some problem with it, I don't want to um, potentially share whatever it has with Maven Tupac. So, um, what else? Oh, we have some super chats actually now. Let me check them. My phone is... I'm talking my ass off here and my phone's about to die. <laughs> um, Ariana donated $5 through Super Chat, but they did not say anything. Thank you so much, Ari. Jason Nash again voted, or donated $20. Jason, calm down, buddy. Uh, Jason says, good night, Tupac, Maeve, Brock, and Brock's double chin. <laughs> Everyone have a good night. Question, do you allow people to visit if they are in your area? I'd love to meet the burbs. Um, not right now, but when I move, I'm setting uh, something up where you guys can come visit, especially if you're patrons. So in the future, that's certainly a possibility. But for now, uh, I don't really have the space to accommodate that or the property, really. So, I mean, I live on like an acre, but it's not really set up for that sort of thing. So... <laughs> Um, but Jason, you'll be the first to know whenever we move and we get that all set up. Trust me. Um, Super Chris Seaweed donated four ninety nine, but they didn't say anything though. But thank you so much, Super Chris. Thank you. Um, I don't. I can't remember if I read Brianna Aaron's or not. I'll read it again just in case from another Patreon. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thank you so much, Brianna. And thank you so much for supporting us on Patreon. Like I said, we couldn't, we literally could not do it without Patreon, so. Um, let me get caught up on chat here. Do all the toucans stay in the same cage? No, they do not. They don't really stay in a cage, actually. They just kind of, they free fly for the most part. Um, Maeve has an enclosure that she kind of sleeps in. And then if I'm out of the house, oh, Maeve's flying around again. If I'm out of the house, like, I go get groceries. Tupac has a little area that he can stay in. But for the most part, they just, they do what they're doing right now. So. Um. How did I come to love Jurassic Park? What's your opinions on the whole franchise? And do you ever connect that to your love of Toucan since they look so prehistoric? Yes, actually. Um, well, I, I mean, I was born in 1992, and the first movie I ever saw in the theater was Jurassic Park when I was, like, one in 1993. So uh, I watched that movie religiously as a child, along with The Lion King. <laughs> and uh, what else? Uh, at some point, there was a point where I watched George of the Jungle a lot, too, for o obvious reasons. So... But Jurassic Park, I've probably seen more than any other movie. Maybe, I'm, I may have seen The Empire Strikes Back uh, more. I'm not sure. It's hard to say. Like, I, there's no telling how much I've watched Jurassic Park since I was a kid. But um, I came to love dinosaurs and birds when I was young. I loved dinosaurs first. And then when I started reading more on dinosaurs and realizing the commonalities they have with birds... I mean, they are, they are birds. If, if, if most dinosaurs, if they were alive today, we would just say that's a bird. But, um, and these are dinosaurs, basically. And, and toucans did certainly uh, pique my interest because of how prehistoric they seem. They just, they just seem like one of those things where if you, if you were... Um, like, they, they seem like one of those things where you'd find their skeleton in a fossil and be like, wow, I can't believe an animal existed that had a beak like that. But for some reason, they're still alive. <laughs> so they, they certainly do seem more prehistoric than other birds, to me at least. And that is part of the appeal, I think, to me. I mean, they are, they're living dinosaurs for sure. Um, 
what's my opinion on the whole franchise. Uh, I like the first movie, The Lost World's okay, and not a fan of any of the rest of them, so. Um, yeah, that's my opinion on it. I'm not really a fan of Jurassic World, <laughs> so it's okay, but, you know, it's kind of like the new, uh, new Star Wars and stuff like that. It's just not the same, you know. The, the, there's not much you can do, in my opinion, with Star Wars or Jurassic Park other than what has already been done, like, first, so. It's just, it seems like a cash grab now, but anyways, um, what else we got here? Um, would using a humidifier in the house help the crud dislodge? I have a humidifier in my bedroom that I use while Tupac, Tupac and Maeve sleep in my room, um, cageless at night, and I have a humidifier in there for that exact reason. And for me, because I get nosebleeds, I get... Uh, my nostrils dry out, especially in the winter, and I get nosebleeds, so. Uh, let's see. Yes, that was Maeve hanging on my YouTube plaque. She has no respect. Video idea, Brock serenades the birds. I've thought about doing that. Um, we'll see what happens. But I have thought about doing a video where Maeve likes to terrorize me while I'm playing guitar, so. All right, let's check this out. My phone is literally about to die, so let's hurry up. And, uh, yeah, I love shoe bills, too, for those of you saying it. I actually, um, there's a shoe bill in the Dallas World Aquarium video I did not long ago. Let's, uh, let's look at the Super Chats one last time. Oh, man, I can't, I hope I pronounce this name right. Tyria? Or, Ord? Eerdy? Eerdy? Man, I butchered your name, and I feel so terrible about it because they donated $100 through the Super Chat, and they say, Merry Christmas, Banana Family. I cannot thank you enough. I wish I could pronounce your name, and I'm so sorry that I cannot. <laughs> um, but thank you so much. $100. I can't... There's, like, been three people tonight that donated $100. That's crazy. I can't believe you guys, like, think I am worth... I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I already said this. Can't believe you guys think I'm even worth two cents, let alone a hundred dollars. Uh, do I, I love Zazu from The Lion King. He's a hornbill. Um, they asked, do you like Zazu from The Lion King? He was one of my, he was probably my favorite character. Him and Rafiki were my favorite characters when I was a kid. But I like Zazu, and I have a good friend who has Eriseris that was one of my toucan mentors, Dana, who we've done... I've done videos with on here. When I picked Tupac up, she was like the halfway house for... We stayed with her for a little while and we kind of got him taken care of. Um, but she has she has two Vonderdecken hornbills. Is that right? Yeah. And those that's the species that uh, Zazu is in the Lion King. And they're super cool birds. They make the coolest little like barking noises. Like Kind of sounds like a donkey a little bit, but it's really cool. Um... But yeah, I do. I love Zazu. He's awesome. Um, okay, we got another super chat. It says, Merry Christmas, Brock and Burbs. Glad to see T Tupac doing well. We'll keep the Patreon going. Thank you so much, Super Chris Seaweed. This is the second uh, super chat, I think, from them. My phone is literally about to die, guys. So we have to... Let me... um. Last chance for super chats, guys. Enjoy my enjoy my double chin again there. Wow, my phone's really warm. I, I, have I ever ridden a horse? It's been a long time, but I have. Okay. This is last call for questions and super chats because we're gonna say goodbye to the birds now. And my phone is like on red, but um, here's Tupac one last time. You want to say bye, Tupac? Will Tupac ever fly? Uh, I'm not sure. It's very unlikely that he'll be able to fly again. So, excuse me. Um, there's Tupac. We'll put the birds to bed soon. You can see some of those feathers. That's okay, buddy. Some of those feathers coming in. And then Maeve is over here. 
You didn't want to hang out with us today, did you, Maeve? You just want to pull this mic, mic off. Excuse me. But what are you thinking? Okay, see you later. <laughs> Anyways, um, hold on. Thank you guys, like, seriously so much for joining me today. Uh, can't believe this many people showed up on Christmas. This stream has been way longer than I expected. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's do it again. I'll get, I'll get a better setup next time, though, for sure. But anyways, can't, you know, Tupac, can Tupac, up oh, there she goes. They're right at the end. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Can Tupac glide? He can flutter down to the ground, but that's about it. He cannot fly. He cannot glide. Um, but thanks again, guys, for joining me, especially on Christmas. Happy holiday, hol holidays to everybody. Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays, like I said. And uh, we'll have another video out pretty soon. Uh, actually, the next one... The next one's going to be either, I got this like floppy banana thing that uh, I want to see how the birds react to. And then I have, um, I got some blueberry smoothie that we're going to see how they enjoy it. So, but yeah, no, can they eat strawberries? Yes, they can eat strawberries, but strawberries are high in sugar. So I don't feed them very often, if even at all. But anyways, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy Holidays. Thank you so much for joining me. And we will see you in a couple of days in the next video. And we'll do a live stream again. Trust me. But we'll get this bird. We'll do live streams until we get this bird. And then after that, we'll keep doing them. Because apparently you guys really like it. So, But thanks again. And we will see you soon. Good night, everybody. If I can stop, if I can stop the stream... Oh, there we go, okay.